way I normally perform telling the story is when you are among friends and it's late at night and you feel comfortable, sometimes there's that moment when you nod off for just a moment and then you wake back up. So old bards, take note. If that happens to you and there's a baby bard beside you, do not say to the baby bard, that was a really weird dream. Because the baby bird bard is going to want to know all about it. And you're going to tell the baby bard, there were polychromatic sheep. And the baby bard will say, oh yeah, there's this place in Scotland. No, no, these were polychromatic sheep. And I was pulling their wool instead of shearing them. And the baby bard will say, what were you going to do with it? And you will answer, I don't know. I knew it was a weird dream and I woke myself up. And you really shouldn't tell these things to baby bards because it's quite possible that the next morning at some ungodly hour your phone will start pinging with messages like, are you awake? Can I bring you coffee? I've written a song. And being a responsible older bard, you will wonder why you gave the baby bard your phone number in the first place. And you will say, let me put some clothes on and you will come over and walk into that baby bard's camp, where you will be greeted with the rather odd, bad, off-Broadway rendition of to spin polychromatic yarn from the wool of polychromatic sheep, to dream in the midnights of Penzik, to follow that polychromatic This is my quest to follow that bar, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to be willing to spin polychromatic shawl, to be willing to spin and to weave a polychromatic shawl. And I know if I'll only be true to this mead-induced quest, that the war will be better for all and I'll finally find rest my tent will be warmer for this, that one bard soaked in strongbow and mead still strove with their last bit of sober to find polychromatic sheep. Don't tell your dreams to the bard.